Yo, what's going on, party people? Listen, you are now getting a behind-the-scenes look at an email I was very excited to get. Yes, I've been talking about this for a little while now, ever since I got my Rode Streamer X, but the Rode Unify for Mac Beta is now available. So hopefully you all did go ahead and sign up for that. But for those of you who did not, I'm giving you a first look at what you can expect. All right, so right now we are already inside of the main um, system that is Rode Unify. Most likely, like I said, when you first connect all of this, when you download Rode, Rode Unify on your Mac, you know, you're gonna have to enable permissions for your microphone. It's gonna make you take you through the keystrokes and all of that jazz, your security and privacy permissions like any other Apple Mac does. Um, it's gonna change a couple of things. Like if you're using Ecamm Live like myself or um, OBS, you're gonna notice that your mic source is probably gonna change from the StreamerX main to StreamerX um, main multi. It's going to change the multi-track or whatever right now this is pretty much uh what you see after you go through all of the setup steps um it's going to ask you you know it's going to detect that you have the streamer x um connected would you like to use it it's going to go through all of that jazz and then you're going to end up on the channel assignment so this is the screen where you're going to start with you're going to start with the channel assignment screen now i've kind of already gone ahead and cheated but i'm going to add this back because this is what you will see when you get started you won't see this um, but you're going to see the streamer x um all all of these are currently connected if it's if it's labeled up here at the top these are the things that are connected um this right here is the headphone um you know so like it says headphone one but you only have one um, headphone jack available on the streamer x so that's why it shows the headphone one all right and then it shows you the current firmware update you know what i'm saying for all of these all right but again we have the microphone which i'm using the rode pod mic usb you have the headset which is whatever headset you decide to connect and then you have the wireless which is referring to the rode wireless go to or the rode wireless me the dope thing about um rode unify is that you have the ability to use all three of these mics at the same time all right so you can use the xlr microphone you can use a headset microphone or whatever source you have going into that connected or you can use the wireless go tools or the wireless me's all at the same time if you're using rode central and this was a rant that i've had before if you've seen in my previous video you cannot use them all at the same time. So that's the dope. That's one of the dopest things about the Unify where it unlocks a lot of the power. We have the uh, HDMI source, you know, so I have my PS5 connected. We have any system audio that you have going on, you know, on your actual Mac. Chat audio, if you're using something like myself, like Discord, and then you have the ability. I also have uh, my USB 2 connected, even though I'm not utilizing it for these purposes right now. I actually um, run the Rode Streamer X directly into my PS5, and I'm able to use it as an audio interface so I can technically use uh, my Rode Pod mic um, as the microphone. So if I had a Shure SM7B like a lot of you all do, um, or any any XLR microphone that you can connect to the Streamer X, um, the Streamer X doesn't have any drivers. It's pretty much plug and play. So the PS5 does allow you to use an external microphone outside of just using the mic on the controller or just using the um, you know headset. But we'll get into that in another video. Drop that down in the comments if you want to see that and then the other dopest thing is that you can add in your virtual devices so again if i want to play music through spotify i can add that if i got some other gaming audio going on directly on my machine my machine i can add that a lot of times i play background music through youtube audio library or something like that copyright free music you can add that through the browser or if i'm showing a tutorial or something or i'm doing a channel review you want to play the audio boom there you go and then you got another virtual channel that you can assign so this is the dopest thing, you know what I'm saying, that you have going on with Rode Unify. And, and, and it's frustrating because, like I said, hopefully they will make this available for the Rodecaster Pro 2 or the Rodecaster Duo. Right now, this is only going to be able to be used if you um, with their Rode X products, which most of you you know are familiar with, which is their gaming division and the Rode Streamer X. You know, so right now, this is not compatible with the uh, Rodecaster Pro 2 or the Rodecaster Duo at the time. Of recording this but this is pretty much how i would use it i'm going to remove this i'm going to remove this because i'm not using that right now so i have the microphone which i'll be using we have the hdmi which is going to be the gameplay we have the system audio and then we have the chat audio um system audio really 
Um, that's going to be if I'm playing videos. So I'll play videos inside of Ecamm Live or something like that um, or run some other videos or if I may be in another application on the computer. Um, that's kind of where that comes in. And then same thing uh, with the chat for Discord or whatever. And then you will end up here. So this kind of looks like a digital version of a Rodecaster Pro 2 or the Rodecaster Duo. And this is why I'm a fan of Rode just going to one centralized app. Get rid of Connect, get rid of Rode Central, because again, Rode Central looks like crap compared to this. This is visual, you can see this. For a beginner, this is so much more intuitive and, is, and, and it helps people not just learn what it is that they're trying to do, but um, it gives them much better control. You know, everything is color coordinated. Rode Central is just plain and, I, I really don't want to go on, you know, go down that road right now. But nevertheless, this is what you can expect to see. All right. So you, you can see I have my left and right. We have the audio signals going over here. Um, you can see I have the microphone. Everything I just did in channel assignment actually shows right here. Um, right here up at the top, this is showing the output mixes. So if I click on this, I have stream, I have headphone, I have chat, I have recording, I have monitor, I have USB. So this is showing at USB 2. This is showing all of the output output mixes. So think of them as kind of like sub mixes. This is showing all of the output mixes that I can possibly create inside of Unified. So this shows you why that's so dope. We'll stick a stream for right now though. And then, you know, we have the, um, we have the uh, faders, not the faders, but the smart pads over here. So if I hit the air horn um, on the Rode X, you should hear it on the streamer X, you know, or if I hit the uh, voice effect for the pitch up, you know, so my voice is going to change now that that's been activated or, you know, well, if my mom was listening to me and I didn't want her to know that I had a potty mouth and I was online and I was going ham and I was just <laughs> saying some stuff that didn't need to be said to a crazy <laughs> that didn't know how you did that. You know what I'm saying? You get the point and then you can disguise, your <laughs> you know, and so then, like I said, you have your other voice pads there um, where you have your music, your applause, your trombone, all of that jazz. So like I said, if, if you're familiar with the Rodecaster, um, okay, all right, we're done with the applause. If you're familiar with the Rodecaster Pro to the Rodecaster Duo, now that it's been released, um, even if you're familiar with the Rode Connect, you know, that is not necessarily gonna be something that's new or foreign to you. Down here, we have your headphone mix. So if I click on this, click this on and off, you know, that's gonna unmute or mute the headphone output. Same thing, I, even though I have sub mixes up here, you know, for, for the overall audience or whoever is listening or whatever I wanna capture or record, I can do the same thing for monitoring. So if I wanna, you know, set a separate headphone mix, if I wanna see what the chat is listening to, if I wanna monitor what the recording is, if I wanna monitor what the monitor is hearing, USB 2, I can monitor all of that specifically and just change from right here. Now, I know somebody may say, maybe saying, well, Walter, you have monitor over here. This is if you want to have a totally separate monitor output mix, all right? And then you can go over here and select whatever sources that you have connected. Um, but that is what that is for. So I want to stick to this right here um, because what I'm going to do is actually rename this. And let's just say Rode Pod Mic USB. Let's just say Pod Mic. Actually, let's just say, like, like I don't know. It's a road pipe, Mike. All right. And then I'm going to rename this. Let's just say PS5. All right. System audio. I'm going to rename this to Discord. All right. And we'll leave that as sounds. System, I'm going to leave as is. And this is technically your USB one. For those of you who are wondering what that USB 2 was that you see down here, your system is technically going to be your USB 1. All right, right now, and then down here, like I said, you can either solo or you can mute. You can solo or you can mute. Um, just to show you that the audio from the uh, PS5 is coming in, I'm going to do this right here. All right, so you guys can see me playing with that. All right, that's the Astro screen. If I jump over here to the PS5 right now. Yeah, so you should hear, you should see, hear that audio source changing. Yeah, so that's the Astro screen. So you, so we can't confirm 
um, that that's actually working. I really don't want to listen uh, to that right now. So let's go back over here um, to unify. And so like this is this is pretty much it, man. That like I don't want to say this is pretty much it because you can also record. Like I said, I can go ahead and record. And just so you're sure, um, if I go over here into the preferences, my recording, I, I can either do one master stereo recording or we could do multi-channel. I know I'm going to want to do some multi-channel stuff. So if I need to change anything later on, I can do that. So I will leave that as is. But this is the I I love this because it gives me back control. This is the thing I love. So this is kind of like a first impression video. I just wanted to give you all a quick overview of what you can expect. This gives me back control of everything that I want to do. You know what I'm saying? So when I go inside, like when I go in Discord, the microphone that I'm going to set is the Unify uh, stream. So when I go in Discord, I'll set Erode uh, Unify stream. And that's actually going to be, uh, excuse me, not stream chat. Road Unify, I forgot I actually changed the name of this, but Road Unify Chat, that's actually going to be what I'll set. And then um, once I actually, you know, start, you know, open up Discord, and I'll do an example of that in another video. Once I get all of that jazz popping off, then we will actually see, um, because I can go, let's just do it right now. If I go to, if I go to chat, when I go to the chat, I can tell the chat what I want to hear. And then chat already sets a mix minus. So you're going to see that these are basically grayed out. I can add them back by clicking on them if I want to. But this is a mix minus because you don't want chat hearing themselves. So I want chat to be able to hear me talking on my pod mic. And then I want them to be able to hear the gameplay coming from here. And then I want them to be able to hear whatever I have going on on the sound pads. Now, because of the way I use things, I can use the system audio as well. Like I said, you just got to be real careful that these things don't get mixed up because they're technically kind of like two um, virtual channels. But yeah, it basically creates a mix minus. Same thing, you know, if I'm recording, recording, you know, I say, hey, if I'm recording something, what do I want to get captured? Everything is going to get captured. If I go into monitor, you know, what is monitoring hearing? Boom. So if I had a monitor set, this is everything that they're going to hear and I can add this back. I'm not going to add the streamer ranks back because, you know, I don't necessarily want to create feedback or anything like that if I'm using my external speakers. Same thing with USB 2. I'm not using that. But one of the other things that I did um, specifically want to show you is the link button. So let's go over here to chat. And what you will notice is you have these links right here. So if I click this, let's just say that I wanted chat to be able to hear this at a different level than what I was actually listening to in the stream mix. What I could do is actually click this right here and then I could actually set this to a different level. And like I said, that's not necessarily going to change it for us because I had this set to stream. But in Discord, if they say, hey, turn up the gameplay, we can't really hear the gameplay um, because I'll run my gameplay into chat. Then I can turn that up. That's how I would do that. Or if I want it to be consistent with what I have set over in stream, you know, if I go back to stream and I have it set right here. Then I will just make sure that that blue is highlighted and click and then it's going to stay right there. All right. So it tells you right there, click to match stream, you know, and if you don't want it to match. Um, yeah. But like I said, this is a general quick overview. I just wanted to do something real quick to let you know, hey, the beta um, is available just for those of you who aren't familiar with Unify and all of the things that you can do. This is what you can do. This is what you can expect. Um, you know, the type of power that you can expect to unleash from a software like this. I got to be honest, I really wasn't big on, you know, util utilizing a software um, to do something like this. But this is dope, you know, to set it and forget it. Um, this game gets me one step closer to definitely replacing the Rodecaster Pro 2, taking that off of my desk completely. I have the Rodecaster Duo that will be in-house tomorrow. Um, so maybe the combination of the Duo and the Streamer X, you know, that'll, that'll kind of be fine on my desk. Um, but the Rodecaster Pro 2, we'll just put that to the side and use that for, for some of our larger um, streamer productions. But yeah, look out for some more content showing you how I set this up with Ecamm, how I will set this up with OBS. Um, you know, I'm going to, you know, do a demo of running a full stream. You know, how I would set this up with Discord um, and having sounds and audio and all of that jazz running in the background. But um, if you found value in this, you know, do me a favor, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button and click the bell so you can be notified every single time I'm posting more road specific content uh, to my channel. But until the next time, I catch you guys in the next video.